Hi guys, welcome to Pagu Private Channel. In this video, we will talk about project management uncertainty. We have already posted a couple of videos on handling the uncertainty. The first one is related to supply chain management where we have used YASAI, an Excel add-in to simulate Monte Carlo simulation. And we have worked out how to handle the uncertainty. In second video, we have used what if data table and we have talked about two variable uncertainty. If you have not watched that video, please do watch those videos. The link is available in description and please do subscribe our channel for watching such fantastic videos. Now, we will go ahead on how to handle uncertainty in project management. See, there are four major risks, which you can say. There is an estimation error, which most of the cases the project manager has to handle. If there is some error happens in the estimation, what to be done? And the next risk is a rejection or a rebuild. Then, commodity price fluctuation, because at the time of bidding, you might have forecasted, uh, you might have considered some X value for commodities, but at the time of execution, it might went up to grab your uh, margins. The other thing is project schedule variation. So if the number of days of project increases, then obviously the project management cost also increases, which is also an, another risk. So we will talk about this four major risks which a project manager handles with the use of a business case. Here, there is one project. The estimated cost is around 2.3 crore. As per the project management uh, team uh, and all, they would require around 30 days minimum to complete the project, but they are targeting with a buffer of 10 days up to 40 days, they are thinking that they can able to complete the project. The customer in tender, he has allowed up to 55 days. So uh, in case if they could not able to complete, they have the threshold up to 55 days to complete the project. And based on past experience, what they are predicting is the estimation error could be up to 25%. So this is based on the past projects, what they have executed based on that. Then they want to consider a rejection of around 10%, which the company has to spend maybe if in case of a rework or anything, which they are keeping this another 10% uh, as a margin or anything. And then they are expecting because the commodity price can go down or it can increase. They are keep thinking that the commodity can fluctuate and basically uh, the impact which it could make on the estimated value, it can be around 5% to 10%. So it can be on either side, minus five to 10% is what they are predicting. And after considering all this, uh, the company would require a 10% profit and overheads. So now the project manager has to confirm the bid to the uh, customer with uh, on overall estimated uh, value, what could be the, at what price they can able to execute this project. So there will be competitors, obviously, if I am considering the maximum number of days or maximum estimation error and uh, the commodity price fluctuation of 10% and everything, then I would increase the bid like anything to a maximum, very much maximum value, which may not be a competitive bid. But on the other side, the company has to work on something which they have to mitigate the risk as well as they have to competitive. So now we will show you a method how to work out the project value, what it can be bid. And also with some sort of a confidence level here, we will be considering about around 95% that 
you can consider a confidence level and you can come up with some value. Now we will move on to Excel and we will talk about this. See, here in Excel, I have already plotted the uh, values, whatever shown on the slide. The project estimation cost is around 2.3 crore. The minimum target and maximum days to complete the project also has been mentioned over here. Then comes the uh, project management cost. The company has to spend around 5,000 rupees per day, which is the project management cost uh, the company will incur approximately. Then the estimation error, which has been shown, 0 to 25 percent. Then uh, a rework or rejection would be 0 to 10 percent, and commodity fluctuation minus 5 to 10 percent. Mm. Then this is a fixed profit and overheads is a fixed value. So now if I say this one and this three has some randomness, which are uncertain, you can't say. So I can complete this project in 40 days, I can complete this project in 50 days, or uh, estimation error will be zero, or estimation error will be 10%. So right now this is uncertain, but we have some limits. So now Excel has some features which we will use it and we will work on the randomness and we will simulate this condition. Here, the number of days will be, minimum will be 30 and maximum will be 55. So I'm considering function ran between the minimum value is around 30 and the maximum is 55. So now 54 I am getting, but if I click F9, see the value gets changed. Now what we will do, we will create the randomness and we will record the output, whichever the total cost which would come for thousand simulated values. And then we will work out what could be the project cost. The next randomness is 25%. And here we will use a different function called rand. So here, what rand will do it will provide a random value between 0 to 1. If I click, see 0 0.78, 0 0.96, 0 0.64. So the value, whatever here it will come, it will be either 0 or either 1, or it can be 0 0.4, it can be 0 0.38, can be anything between 0 and 1. But here I would require only up to 25%. So I will be dividing this by four. So the output value will get restricted up to 0 0.25. 0 0.25 is everyone knows, which is equal to 25%. Now here I will use the same formula rand. Here the randomness is up to only 10%. So I will divide it by 10. Next is a negative value, minus five to 10%. Here again, ran between minus five to 10. But it's showing 400% or something, but uh, I have to divide this value by 100 basically. So I will be getting a complete number which is kind of integer, I am getting 1%, 5%, 6% and all. If you want decimal, then you can use this trick, multiply by 10 here, again, multiply by 10, and then divide by 10, and overall has to be again divided by 100. So you will get a decimal value, 
So it can be any decimal value you will be getting. So we have created some randomness. So now we will calculate the project management cost. So which will be 31 into 5,000. So basically the projected random days into the 5,000. Then the estimation error, it will be estimated value into this percentage value. So I am converting this to a percentage. Then rework, actually rework will consider the project management plus estimation error also I am considering. Then I am multiplying with the rework value. Then again, commodity fluctuation for that, I am considering the estimation plus estimation error plus rework multiplied by commodity price fluctuation. So I have calculated all these random costs. And then what I'm going to do is total cost for the project is going to be some of these values and the project estimation done by the estimation team. So I have come up with some sort of a value. Now what I'm going to do is do thousand simulations thousand random projects it you can say permutations or combinations you can say so starting with one and i'm going to record all those values so that means i'm going to do simulation in excel here i'm not going to use any excel add-in basically and i'm going to use what if to calculate this value. So I have mentioned the number of observations. What I'm going to do is simply put equal to and mention the total cost. Done. Then select this table, go to data, go to what if, data table. Once the table is selected, you don't want to, no need to do anything on row input cell, select column input, select some empty cell and click OK. See, Excel has immediately came up with the output for 1000 simulated values. So now what I'm going to do is calculate the mean, which is nothing but the average average of sorry average of this thousand simulated values so mean i have did then i am calculating the standard deviation what i am going to do is stdv which is a sample size it is fixed for that i am calculating is a sample standard deviation that also I have calculated. Now this is one formula which we have to remember related to the confidence level. So here it is norm dot s dot inverse is the formula. Once I put it is asking the probability basically. Here I am looking for 95%. So put 0.95 and close it. So it will come up some value which is 1.64645 something which is coming. So the upper level what the company has to consider the total project cost basically the company has to consider is Thing but this mean plus standard deviation into the confidence level. 
So this much value has to consider, but if I click F9, the value will change obviously. But you can see it is somewhat around 3.18 crore, 3.1617, the, the, whatever the output I'm getting, which is somewhat around 3.18, 3.17. So this would be the project cost the company has to consider in a way to mitigate the risk. Also, this will ensure the company will remain competitive. And uh, here the 10% is the profit margin. If I am adding that, so the company, what they have to bid is somewhat around three and a half crore. So three and a half or 3.55, something they can quote with the confidence level of 95%. So even if they book the project, whatever the estimation error, whatever the rework, if it is within this limit, the company will make profit for sure. So this on the other side, the company also mitigate the risk and they can be confident up to 95%. There is only 5% chance that company will make a loss. Hope you have learned something new with this video. Please do subscribe our channel for watching such fantastic videos and like this video and share with your friends. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.